how to add ceramic rings in an aquarium so that the water should not get cloudy from the title of this video you all must have got an idea of the video that in this video we are going to share the best possible way by which your aquarium water will never become cloudy after adding ceramic rings friends Creating a thriving and visually appealing aquarium is a rewarding experience for fish keepers. One of the key elements in achieving a healthy aquatic environment is effective filtration. Among the various filtration options available, ceramic rings stand out as a versatile and powerful choice for biological filtration. In this video, we'll delve into the details of how to properly add ceramic rings to your aquarium to ensure clear and pristine water conditions. But before that, welcome fish enthusiasts to Blue Aquatics, your ultimate destination for all things related to fish keeping. We are thrilled to have you here with us today as we delve into the fascinating world of aquarium care. Whether you are a seasoned hobbyist or just starting out on your aquatic journey, our channel is dedicated to provide you with the best information, tips and insights to ensure the health and happiness of your aquatic companions. Also, become our channel member now by joining our channel and get access to our WhatsApp number for personalized fish treatment. First of all, let's understand the role of ceramic rings. Ceramic rings are renowned for their porous structure, which provides a generous surface area for beneficial bacteria to colonize. These bacteria are the heart of biological filtration as they transform toxic ammonia and nitrite into less harmful nitrate. By introducing ceramic rings to your aquarium, you are setting the stage for a balanced and vibrant aquatic ecosystem. Now let's discuss the steps to add ceramic rings. First one is to prepare the ceramic rings. Before incorporating ceramic rings into your aquarium's filtration system, it's crucial to rinse them thoroughly under running water. This process eliminates any dust, debris or manufacturing residue that may be present. By ensuring the rings are clean, you prevent the introduction of unwanted particles that could lead to cloudy water. Second step is to select the filtration area. Identify the optimal location within your filter setup to house the ceramic rings. Many filters have designated compartments or media baskets for biological media. If your filter lacks such compartments, consider placing the rings in a mesh media bag and positioning them in a high flow region of the filter. Then comes to distribute the ceramic rings. To maximize the ring's efficiency, evenly distribute the rinsed ceramic rings within the chosen filtration area. Avoid overstuffing the compartment, as proper water flow is essential for efficient filtration. Ensuring that water flows freely through the rings facilitates effective interaction between bacteria and water. Then comes to maintain water flow. A continuous and adequate water flow is vital to support optimal biological filtration. The flow ensures that the beneficial bacteria receive the necessary oxygen and nutrients, promoting their growth and activity. Adequate water flow also discourages debris from settling on the rings, preserving their functionality. Step 5 is to avoid overcleaning. As the bacterial colony establishes itself, refrain from excessive cleaning of the ceramic rings. The bacteria require time to form a stable biofilm, 
and frequent cleaning could disrupt this process striking a balance between maintaining water quality and allowing the bacterial colony to flourish is essential then comes to monitor water quality with ceramic rings in place closely monitor key water parameters including ammonia nitrite and nitrate levels over time you should notice a decline in ammonia and nitrite concentrations as the beneficial bacteria colonize the rings and kickstart biological filtration this signifies the successful integration of the rings into your aquarium setup after all this you have to be patient developing a thriving bacterial colony is a gradual process that demands patience it can take several weeks for the bacteria to multiply and establish themselves on the ceramic rings during this period maintaining stable water conditions and avoiding abrupt changes to the aquarium environment are essential then you should prevent cloudy water to prevent cloudy water when adding ceramic rings to aquarium you should follow these steps first thoroughly rinse the ceramic rings to eliminate dust and debris then minimize disturbances to the substrate and surrounding environment during ring placement thirdly ensure consistent water flow and avoid overcrowding the filtration compartment at last allow sufficient time for beneficial bacteria to colonize the rings and establish a stable biofilm to sum up incorporating ceramic rings into your aquarium filtration system is a valuable strategy for maintaining water clarity and promoting a thriving aquatic environment by following these steps you'll harness the power of beneficial bacteria and enjoy the beauty of crystal clear water contributing to the well-being of your aquatic inhabitants remember a successful aquarium is founded on the principles of effective filtration and the delicate balance of nature so that's all in this video we hope you liked it and share it with your family and friends so if you are new do subscribe channel blue aquatics and ring the bell icon so that you'll never miss any important update stay tuned and have a healthy and happy fish keeping everyone